Hello everyone, I am back. It is good to be back. Let's kill a bird. Cause why not? Um, yeah. <laughs> the volume's really loud. I'll turn it down. Give me one second. Oh great, there's two birds. Well, how's it going? I hope you've enjoyed the first three episodes. I apologize for that recording issue um, with the screens, but we're back to full screen now. Isn't that good? Ta-da! We killed one. Alright. Oh god. Let's turn this down. Um, it's the volume on my end. Yay, as always. Anywho, um, what to do? I don't like this sword at all. So we're actually going to change it back to this broken Runewrath sword for now. And what we need to do today is go look for some more resources all around the world. So we have enough torches, I think. Actually, let's make some more. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Alright, well that's all our torches we can make. Um, we have our stone axe. I think today will be an exploration episode. Wouldn't that be fun? Just go around exploring stuff. See what we can find. Alright. I like how these guys are friendly, so we'll just leave them be. They ain't hurting anyone, so we won't hurt them. Except that bird is, but we'll run away from him. Um, now, I've been playing around some other server... Not servers, but my other accounts would be the terminology for it. And I found some really cool stuff when I journeyed a little bit farther from my house. So we're going to go off on an adventure and try to find some cool things around the world, like uh, temples and dungeons and all that stuff. So I'm excited. All right, we got the copper. Let's get out of here. Ta-da! Good job, Starbert. Oh, he looks like a, the cotton candy. Cotton candy alien. Hi, hi. Oh, how you jumped high there, little guy. Whee! Down the cliff. Have I been here before? Oh, I feel like I have. Alright, we killed them both. Ooh, we got some steak out of the deal, and we are low on health. Have a bandage. Can we make any more bandages? No, we can't. Alright, well, we need some plant fiber ASAP. We can go try to find some of that. It'd be awesome. All right, there we go. More plant fiber. I see it down below. Now I wonder if a sword better? No, probably the matter thing. Would a pickaxe be better? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, it takes forever to mine these down, but there we go. We have a lot of plant fiber. Twelve, actually. We can make three bandages. Awesome. And definitely use these up right away. Alright, and throw another one on. I think that's it for now. Oh my god, look at all this uh, copper down here. Alright, so I think we're in the newer area where I haven't been before. I do see a torch down there, so I take that back. This music, it's wonderful. But yeah, so how's it going? Going good here. What our current mission is, if you don't remember, it's been a while in my end. But we are looking for a lot of resources to build a, what's it called? Oh, you know what, actually, I look back, we only need, what is it, 10 iron, I think, or 8 iron. I think we need 8 iron. So what we're looking for right now is iron. Uh, it's all back in the base in that chest we found, so we'll go back for that. Oh, I've already been here. Okay, let's get out of here. He doesn't look like he's friendly. Doesn't look like he wants to talk. So yeah, what we're looking for right now is a lot of iron. Obviously, we haven't found any. So, I'm just going to break some of this coal, and you'll be on our quest for iron again. So I think we're going to overlook the coal and the bronze for now. Go look for some iron, and then, when... Oh, there's some iron. When we get enough iron to build our anvil we can look into finding things of other resources. Copper, silver, more iron. We can make better tools, better armor, and then in the next few episodes, we will fight that boss. We will use that spawning stuff, the uh, distress signal, and we will spawn in our boss. I'm excited for that. A little bit nervous, but excited. It'll be very interesting to see how a boss in a game like Starbound is played. Oh, there's a chest over there. All right. Well, first, I want to put this down. Oh. This is awesome. 
Alright, let's get these two things. These big uh, vine veins of vine. And then there's that chest in the top left corner near those two little monsters. We'll kill them and see what awesome loot we have in store. Now, chests like this can give things from pickaxes to minerals to plant fibers, which we are in desperate need of because... Oh, you know what? Uh, let's actually put one more torch down here. See what we got. Um, Nothing too special. I don't want to explore down yet. I kind of want to keep in the surface and try to find some cool things that are... Uh, available to us on the surface. We will, pff, will. We will eventually dig down. Not yet, though. Um. Ooh, a pointless hacker. A crappy axe. Two-handed arm penetration two. 1.35 swing speed. 22 damage per swing. Um. It seems like this is just good for being a uh, an axe to cut down trees. Seems like all it is. Would, would a, an axe work better? I feel like. I don't know. I'm confused about that. Okay, let's see if this does do this. No, so the axe does absolutely nothing chopping down trees. Alright, good to know. Back on the quest for iron and cool resources. Oh, by the way, uh, if you use this thing, you go over uh, food in the ground and hit E, you can pick the food. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Oh! Whoa! Halt! This is a high security research facility, lab personnel only. This is very interesting. Can I attack you? This is your warning. Leave this place now or be forced to take action. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're battling like a mini boss of sorts. One more hit. One more hit. There we go. Oh, very interesting. There's a monkey thing that says obey. Oh, there's another guy over there. Ah. Oh my god, he packs a punch, doesn't he? Okay, well, we killed him. Oh, we got a weak prodder. That's interesting. What is your name? Looks like we got ourselves a new test subject. No, hey, he's got a gun. That's no fair. Don't bring a gun to a knife fight. Or don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Ah. In our attempt to make some sort of witty comment, we killed ourselves. Well, the cool thing is there's a research facility out there, an apex facility lab thingy. So we're going to run back over there and try to kill some guys. Oh, look at that little cotton candy alien. That is epic, though. There's a lot of cool stuff down there. Oh, I'm excited. Let's actually check to see how much iron we have now and see if I can make some better tools before we go back there. So, actually, I was right. We need to smelt some stuff first. All right. Plop these old guys in here. We should have more than enough. Check the chest, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. We have just enough. Because we'll be getting seven iron from this, and then... Okay, perfect. Yep, there's our 7 iron, making it 8. And, with that being said, we get... Oh, you know what? Um, let's actually cook up some food. We have, what, another piece of food we can put in here? Yes, we do. All right. Now, what does this do? Uh, Armor presentation 1, 1.45, 23. Weak predator, crappy spear, eye sword. Where's our crappy axe? I don't know. Um, I really don't know what we're going to use for weapons. Plop our food actually right into our bar up here. Alright, uh, make some more bandages for sure. That's really the biggest point of having plant fiber right now in the initial part of the game. Um, anvil. Iron anvil, there we go. Craft that up. Ooh, and we can put you down right here to be. Uh, we can't put you anywhere because of those things. Um,. You can just sit outside for all I care. Honestly, right there, that's fine. Um, now, it seems as though we don't have enough copper to make anything because I haven't smelted anything down, but we have 34 stuff to smelt, so we can make some armor for sure. And that would definitely be helpful. Now, we have, what are they, copper greaves or something? Copper greaves, copper helmet, copper chest plate, puddle pants. No, no, not puddle pants. Uh, maybe they are puddle pants. Yeah, puddle pants are the copper. Um, but to make puddle hat and everything else, you're going to need the copper base item and then quite a bit of iron. So, let's see, our 17 copper is done smelting. We had 7 over here. That's cool. What can we make? Alright, we can make a copper pickaxe with 8 copper. Alright, let's do that for sure, because that'll definitely come in handy. You can make a diamond pickaxe too? Wow. Well, actually, before we do this, let's quickly check. 12, 12, that's 24. That's just enough for this armor. And I honestly would rather make both pieces of armor 
than um, make a copy of pickaxe. Because I can deal with the pickaxe for now, but I would like to have some better armor. So we're getting rid of our old pants to put on some more stylish pants. And where's our helmet? It's, oh no, our pants. We just made two freaking pair of pants when I was supposed to make pants and a shirt. Alright, well, we're idiots. Um, hopefully they have a durability or something. Otherwise, I just wasted 24 uh, copper. That's good to know. It's always reassuring when you waste copper like that. Oh yeah. Well, at least we have some sort of armor. That's helpful. Alright, well, we killed those guys. Took a little bit of damage. It's getting to be nighttime. But I'm hoping we can get over to that base before it goes pitch black. That's my goal. Oh my god, we have two things following us. This is crazy. Okay, well they stopped. That's awesome. It's really dark out. Lovely. Just what I wanted to happen. If we can make it to the base before nighttime, or before it gets pitch black, rather, because it is nighttime right now. Oh, and we have the hard bosses right now. Shoot, I forgot about that. We're still gonna die. We're dead. We're dead. There's no way to avoid this. Where is that? Bandage up. Bandage up. We could do this. We could do this. Alright, one more bandage, I think. We can probably shoot him down with a bone arrow right now. Alright. Ah! There we go, that's a nice shot. Oh god, he's getting closer. Alright, we killed one. I think it's another piece of leather. Oh my god, I'm sorry, you guys probably can't see right now. Let's get a torch or a uh, a flashlight out so you can see something at least. Alright, so here's where we are. Oh my god, I can't see the top of the screen, that's obnoxious. Oh, there's a platypus chainsaw thing. Oh my god, he knocked me far. Oh, he is very fast. Okay, he is not messing around. Oh wait, what is that? It was spewing like lava at me. What the heck, platypus thing? What are you doing, platypus thing? Bad platypus thing. I'm sorry, Mr. Teletubby, I didn't want to hurt you, Gerald. Stop! <laughs> Gerald! Stop attacking me, Gerald! <sighs> it had to be done. Oh my god, platypus monster! I'm sorry I had to kill you. Actually, no, I'm not. You were very scary. Oh god, platypus monster! Platypus freaking monster! Oh god, we're so dead. We're so dead. We are so freaking dead! No, we're not. We killed him. Oh my. Oh my, everyone. Somehow. I don't know how, but we've we've survived. Quite a long time. There's more platypi up there. Very scary for the platypi. Um, I think we might have to hide down here and make more bandages. Alright, well, this has been very traumatic. Oh my god. We're going to have a little bit of a longer episode because I definitely want to get over through that base. Actually, what am I saying? I don't want to wait through the night mining with you guys. That's boring. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to end it here. But then, uh, two days from now, in the next episode, you'll see me take down the dungeon. Talk about a, sp a cliffhanger. That's the word. I was going to say spoiler. I don't know why. Talk about a cliffhanger. Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Let's take down the dungeon. Oh my god, I'm so excited.